What is going on guys? Today we're going to be sending the wastegate out the hood. So that means we gotta cut into the hood. So let's just jump on in, get this over with because I'm not looking forward to doing it. So there is our wastegate set up. Got a nice screamer tube just going just straight up because I was gonna have it go down, but the way the wastegate is angled a little forward and there's not a whole lot of room. I'd have to like finagle the pipe and there'd be a lot of angle changes and pie cuts and all that fun stuff. And I wasn't really wanting to do that. So I just decided, you know what? Out the hood's gonna be way easier. I'm just gonna man up and do it. I didn't wanna have to cut any more out of this hood, but unfortunately we're gonna have to because of the wastegate. But I had to cut out for the pins, the latch that came with it, and for the radiator cap, as well as back there, our fuel pressure regulator, it just pokes out just a little bit, but I had to cut it out anyways, so now everything clears. So I already have it right there marked out where we're going to be cutting. I'm going to use this hole saw in the middle, and then I'm just gonna file away the rest of it so we get a nice clean finish. If you wanted to have your wastegate come out of the hood and you need to know exactly where you need to cut it because you don't want to mess up, put the hole in the wrong spot, you just take a piece of cardboard, paper, whatever, and you just cut it out to whatever shape the top of it is. And then you just set it on there with some tape on the back side. And when you close the hood, it'll stick to the hood. And then you know exactly where that needs to be. And you'll probably have to sand it or file it out a little bit more, but that'll give you a very good idea on where the tube is actually gonna come out. So you saw we cut the hole, I was very nervous about doing that but it came out like really good. So now we just have to file our way backwards. Like I'm hoping it doesn't poke out too much. I measured it to where it should poke out like just barely, but it is holding the hood up a decent amount and we do have some thickness there in the hood. So it might be exactly how I want it. Essentially, I want it to where if you look from here, you don't see it at all. So I'd like it to be in line with how the vent has that line that goes back that sticks up. All right guys, moment of truth. Oh, would you look at that. It's a rough uh, cut. This side actually looks really good. It follows the pipe very nicely. And on this side, it's pretty good, except this section here, I need to round it out a little bit. But look at that. I mean, it pokes out a little bit more, but it's really nicely like it just it just a little poke you know just just sort of like how our actual exhaust is you know just a little just a little poke we still need a cover plate for that i'm still figuring out what i'm gonna do but we're gonna be focusing on this and then we're gonna wrap this with exhaust wrap this looks much better with the tape off we cleaned up this side it's, it throws you off because of that section there it flows with it, it's just that the way that the uh, fiberglass, like the like paint or protective layer, whatever this black color is, is peeled off in some areas and it's not in others, so it, it throws off the uh, line a little bit, but it does flow with it. And that's not even too important because we will have a cover plate. Once I figure out what material I'm going to use for that and the one down there, we'll do that, but we're not going to do anything to that right now. There she is, she's all wrapped and good to go, and it's just beautiful. It's just perfect fit. I, I don't think I could be any happier with how this came out. It's super clean. At this point, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with the exterior of the car, if I'm gonna, you know, get it painted, get it wrapped, uh, bed liner, all of it. I'm not sure yet. Um, so I'm leaning towards getting it wrapped, not too sure yet. So I think we're going to hold off on the cover plate. So until I figure out what we're going to do, and that, that honestly is probably going to be quite a ways away because I want to get everything done at once for the exterior. So that means fenders, uh, I have to get front fenders and rear fenders, and that'll be after we get wider tires. So there's a whole bunch of things that need to happen first. So at least the cars are all the same color, pretty much black. They're similar shades of black. That's okay, this car doesn't have to look pretty. She just has to be fun to drive. Yeah, I'm super stoked at that. That's so cool. Like for my first hood exit anything, I think I did pretty good. I really like that. I'm really happy with that. Let me know what you guys think of it. Do you think that it ruined the look of the hood? Cause I don't at this point. I thought it was going to because everything's pretty much symmetrical on it with the pins and then the vents right in the center. So like having that just out of nowhere throws off like the symmetry. But 
I like it. I think it works. My favorite part about the hood is the vent though, for sure. Cause like just getting to look in there and see, it's so cool. And it'll help, you know, with heat dissipation and all that fun stuff around here will help too. You know, we got a little extra vent there. My only concern with this is when I park this, I have to like put a rag or something in here because we have these shitty trees that like to just dump shit all over your car. So I'll have to put like a rag or something in there every night. So that's not that big a deal as long as I remember to do that. And I'm curious as to how it's going to affect like this paint around there. It'll be a little bit of a test because we don't have a two-step setup yet. We're not really going to see fire coming out of there, I don't think, but it'll for sure, you know, exhaust will be coming out of there. So it's going to get hot, but it's not going to catch fire. Speaking of two steps, once we get that hooked up, once we go back to the dyno, turn out the boost and all that fun stuff, and we get the two-step set up, we're going to see some flames coming out of there, there, and there. That's going to be so cool to see flames coming out of there. So unfortunately, it is nighttime right now, so we're not gonna take the car out because the footage will just be crap. So we're gonna take it out tomorrow morning. So here's the footage, enjoy. said thank you so much for watching please leave a like if you did comment down below let me know what you guys think of the hood exit wastegate and then hit that subscribe button see you guys next time peace